Here in Australia, a lot, a lot of people still believe that diesel vehicles are a good choice. They think there's nothing wrong with diesel vehicles. They're, they're fine. Just buy a diesel car. That's a good choice. Well, here's the thing. Toyota has just been caught and the Japanese government is furious with Toyota for diesel cheating devices, emissions cheating devices in their current cars today. And now a German regulator has found emissions defeat devices in BMW diesels as well. It's like this nightmare will never end. Automakers just keep putting these emissions defeat devices in their vehicles and just thinking, hey, it's fine. If we get caught, we'll just pay a fine. What's the big deal? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Certain F25 generation BMW X3s with the two liter diesel engine have been found fitted with emissions cheating devices. Germany's Federal Transportation Authority, the KBA, has determined that certain F25 generation BMW X3s used a shut off device to control the emissions of diesel engines. Now, are they still using them now? Um, apparently they say no, but uh, really, do we believe that? Probably not. However, here's the thing. As a result of this, BMW diesel vehicles, these particular models, but possibly others as well, were emitting far more pollutants into the air than what was allowed. The KBA launched its investigation in response to revelations from an environmental watchdog, which discovered that the X3 X Drive exceeded legal NOx emissions limits. These NOx emissions, they are toxic and they are exactly what causes cancer. They do. There's numerous studies on that. You can look them up yourself easily. It's not some sort of um, false information of any kind. The watchdog alleged that the vehicle's emissions control system was manipulated to reduce performance when the air conditioning was activated. This could potentially enable cheating during emissions tests as automakers conduct tests with the air conditioning deactivated. Now the KBA has determined that the advice exists and that it is, well, obviously was illegal. The authority also found that the vehicles in question reduced the efficacy of their exhaust after treatment system at temperatures of less than 18 degrees Celsius, which is 64 degrees Fahrenheit. This obviously is illegal as well. Now, BMW have been under numerous investigations over diesel emissions tampering, but we'll so have many com companies. Uh, you've got Jeep, Toyota, the Volkswagen Group, the list just goes on. Germany has not yet taken action against BMW and no other European countries have done so yet as this news is relatively recent. However, if they do, it's possible that hundreds of thousands of vehicles could have to be recalled. BMW said it was complying with all legal authorities, but it maintains that its vehicle emission system comply with legal requirements. BMW is just um, basically saying, no, 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 you're wrong and we're right. I mean, I don't see how that's going to fly. However, it did acknowledge a potential issue regarding the durability of certain components of the exhaust after treatment system, as translated from German. Now, despite its legal position, BMW has an action plan to remedy this issue. It's saying there's no problems, but we have a plan to fix it, which is ironic. This includes hardware and software updates. BMW intends to start rolling out the fixes in June of this year in Germany. So far, the X3 is the only vehicle that has been identified as having this issue. However, it appears as though there's actually a number of other BMW models that have these cheating devices fitted to them and German regulators and other regulators are actually examining BMW vehicles right now. As you watch this video, it's going on. It's probably going to go on for the next 12 months at least. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.